Welcome to the Invincible CEO channel. My name is Didi Pavernik. I'm the Invincible CEO, and we are here with episode 16 of our community chosen series, Deep Dive Into the Now. This whole channel is designed to help you manifest with ease because what? Manifestation is simple, easy, and fun when you become consciously aware of what's going on. Now, you've been manifesting your whole life 24-7, unconsciously, subconsciously, something consciously. But now what we're doing is we're bringing in conscious creation. We're becoming aware that we are creating our reality in the now 24 seven by observing and experiencing simultaneously. And that's what we've been doing in this series, bringing you deeper and deeper into the now so that you can understand not only what your subconscious is doing, but what your conscious mind is doing and then bringing them two together to work together, not against each other. So in the beginning, when you are coming from a conscious mind driven reality that says you have to do, 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 and repeat, 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 and survive, survive, survive. When you're in that mode, and now you're coming to more a creative level of one and done, like one transaction, and it's done, chill out. That old mind comes in and goes, yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but. And this series is to kind of calm down that yeah, but to put you in the driver's seat right here, right now. We've given you so many different analogies, not only in this series, but there's so many amazing videos on this channel. So thank you again for coming back. And if this is your first time here, welcome. We do things very, very differently here for you because between the asking and the receiving, there is that middle, that hang time. And what we're doing here is helping you stay focused, right? You hear teachers say persist in the end and become unattached to what you've asked for, but they don't go deeper into what that really means. And that's what we're doing here so that you can have the tools. Now, manifestation is instant. And can you just sit here and allow everything to come to you? Yes, you can. However, for most people watching these videos, it's such a foreign concept or They just don't have the life, the stories right now. If you have kids, if you have a job, if you have to, in that old reality, work in order to bring money in or whatever the story is, you may not have that luxury, but you don't have to sit and become a monk and shut the whole world out. Can it happen faster that way? Yes. But no, if you have a mind coming in contradicting that type of reality. So all we're doing here is having a play date between the two minds. And this is a beautiful manifestation playground. So before we get into activating and aligning and anchored, I know I mentioned in episode 15, now we're at our halfway point here that we're going to get into activate, align, and anchor. The more that I went into my meditation this morning and realized the little bit more foundation is needed before we get into those three powerful tools. They are so powerful. If you go to the YouTube channel homepage, activate, align, and anchor are the three tenets of which the Invincible CEO is based on. All of our programs, everything that we're doing here, give me three months, we'll activate the first month, we'll align the second, we'll anchor the third. Now you have a whole different paradigm, you have a whole different story, you have a whole different way of being. And can it happen sooner? Absolutely. But we give that space and time because the old story, the old mind is used to things changing over time. That's why time was created for you. So today, what I really want to get into in this episode 16 is that's a story. That's a story. And I think it's a very powerful brick of foundation as we're building this foundation. You don't have to do these videos in order. They are designed to be standalone, but it does help as they're unfolding because I'm showing you how this process works. None of this is pre-scripted. When I turn on the camera, I start recording, the words start coming out. This is the level of trust that I have in what it is that I'm sharing. And because I experience what I'm sharing, I can anchor it in and say it with such conviction to you that it does work because look what's happening. Look what's happening. This channel has blown up. It's not even a full five months yet. So very excited about that. So please take a moment to like, subscribe, and share. That helps so much in getting this word out. If you have manifestation friends who are frustrated or to feel like they're stuck because they don't know what to do between the asking and the receiving, send them over to this channel. 
we give you practical ideas, but we also give you very delusional ideas and everything in between to help you sit here with ease and comfort and relaxation as you now allow things to unfold for you, because this is about a fun unfolding. You cannot have a happy ending to an unhappy story. If you're in frustration mode, your ending is going to be frustration. If you're going to be in anger mode, your outcome will be anger. And if you come out of the energy of inception, so if you're creating when you're angry, and I have created when I'm angry, and I have gotten results when I'm angry, but then when I move to relief, those results seem to go away because they were they were brought in through the, the angry story. So it's really important to know where and who you are right here, right now in the now moment. And we've been centering you into the now moment with 3D breaths. And in addition to these videos, I do offer one-off coaching. I do offer digital courses. I do offer three month individualized programs that include nutrition and exercise in addition to mindset. But I also offer a free nurture group. Now, things are going to start to change here in May. After this series is done, we're doing a video a day for 30 days. After this, this series is done, we're going to kind of start to pull back a little bit on the channel because our private nurture group is really starting to thrive. It's really starting to grow. And we can get deeper in because it's more private than here on the channel. So the channel will always have videos coming in, not at the level that they're coming now. But we also do have an amazing event coming up May 18th and 19th. It is a private event. And we are going to help you create that jump off wheel, that wish fulfilled wheel, and the connector wheel in between. So that when you, when you leave that two-day event, you will have a personalized chart for the next 12 weeks what to do in your middle between the asking and the receiving. And when I do offer this two-day event, the results people receive are mind-blowing because we're bringing in the delusional mind and the practical mind. We're merging them together and wait till you see how well they work together. No more hit or miss manifestations. It is very deliberate manifesting. So I'm very excited to offer you that two-day event. It's called Jump Off Into Your Wish Fulfilled. And once you jump off, once you take that bungee jump, everything will change. You will have shifted inside. And not only will you have shifted inside, you will know it. And when those old echoes come in, when those old mind gremlins come in and say, it's not working, it's not happening fast enough, you have an actual plan to say, ah, oh, but it is. So I look forward to seeing you in that two-day event and the links will be up very shortly. I'm finalizing all of the wonderful things behind the scenes that I have to do before I can make the official offering. But I do want you to save the date for May 18th and 19th. Okay. So let's get into today's video. Let's get into today's topic. And I really do look forward to working with you in any way, shape, or form that you would love to work together. My clients always had amazing results. They're continuing to win, win big and win all the time because you know that's what I want. And at 2 p.m. today, another client video drops in addition to this one so that you can see how quickly doing any of the extra stuff together with me will help you stay focused and change and shift with ease, manifest with ease. Okay, so today's topic, today's uh, episode title is That's a Story. And we've taken you into the three deep breaths. We've taken you into three minutes. We're eventually going to get you into six minutes and nine minutes in this series. But what now is after you get to that beautiful zero point, right? You stop and you take three deep breaths or you stop and you do three minutes at zero point resting as awareness, eyes open, allowing everything else to soften around you. What begins to happen is you get to start to choose wisely. What's your next choice? What is it that you want to choose? In the last two videos, we said to you, if you're choosing to put out a fire, if you're choosing to improve something, if you're choosing to change something, then you're choosing from lack. And that's why the opposite starts to show up. We, we explained that very clearly in episode 15. So if you haven't seen episode 15, I highly recommend that you go back and see that. But when you zero yourself out from the zero point and then you choose a different outcome, a different reality, a different experience, because it's all about the experience. When you choose that different experience, you're choosing it to have the experience, not to put out the fire. So if you choose to have an experience, 
to have $5,000 come in today. You're choosing $5,000 to come in not to pay a bill, not to get out of debt, not to satisfy some kind of thing that's happening in an old reality. You're choosing $5,000 to come in today because you want to experience $5,000 coming in today. That's the story. It's that simple. You've heard me say over and over in these videos that reality, what's happening in the now is just what's happening. It doesn't need a story. So that's how you know you're in the mind. If you have a story about the past or you have a story about the future, you're coming out of what's happening because what's happening, you're experiencing and observing simultaneously. So let's say that again. The now equals observing and experiencing simultaneously with no story. That's it. It is the story. If I were to just sit here on screen, sitting in my chair, very quiet, that's the story. If somebody walked into the room and you just see me sitting here on my screen for minutes and minutes on end, very quiet, and you decided to watch that and someone walked in and said, what are you doing? Your story would be, if it wasn't obvious to them, I'm watching a screen where someone's just sitting. That's the story. But when we're doing it together and no one's asking you what's going on, it's pretty obvious what the story is. So by the time we need to bring in words, the time that we need to bring in language, we're now coming out of the now moment into a story. And today's episode of That's a Story, that's what you're going to re be repeating to yourself all day long, whether someone's coming to you and sharing something and you're going to say to them, well, you can say it out loud or you can say it in your mind. That's a story. When you go to look at a text and you zero yourself out with those three deep breaths first and you look at the text and you go, that's a story. You could look at an email, say the same thing, three deep breaths, look at the email. That's a story. You could hear echoes, mind echoes coming into your echo chamber saying whatever they're saying. That's not enough. You should try that. What are you doing? You're messing up again. You're the best in the whole wide world. Regardless whether it's considered negative or positive, any echo that comes in, that's a story. So that's all I want you to do all day long today in your mind and, and be brave enough to say it out loud because it's hysterical. Working with my clients and yesterday, I probably said to them at least 10 different times, well, that's a story. Is Because then after you say that's a story, and you bring yourself to that zero point, you can take those three deep breaths again. And then you can say to yourself, is this the story that I want to jump into and give my time and energy to? Is this the story that I want to be observing and experiencing right here, right now? And once you start bringing yourself that centered in the now moments, because it's a couple simple questions. Let me say it again. You take your three deep breaths, whether you have a conversation with somebody, you watch a video, even, even now with this video, you can be saying, well, that's a story because it is, it's a story we're speaking. And all we do all day long is we tell stories. We tell stories with our words, but more importantly, we tell stories with our actions. And if I had to look at what you're doing or what you're saying, your actions, as a trained interrogator, your actions tell me more of the story than your words do, because sometimes we don't even believe the words that we're saying as we're saying them, or we're repeating words that other people have taught us that we don't even know are true. We don't even know are true. So what this episode is all about today is what story do you want to engage with? And before you can choose a story you want to engage with, you have to remind yourself that it's a story. And how you really neutralize that out is everything's a story. Everything, if the mind is speaking, it's a story because the now moment doesn't need a story. Again, if you're sitting, eating lunch, someone walks in the room and says, what are you doing? And you're going on biting, chewing, and swallowing because eating is a concept. Biting and chewing and swallowing is what's happening. It's what's being observed and experienced. But you're Captain Obvious all of a sudden, because why are you telling someone something obviously that's happening that they can observe and experience simultaneously? So let's go over this one more time. You just got here. This is a template. And as we sit here for three minutes, six minutes, nine minutes, and we let the old story melt away. And after we come out of that ground zero, zero point resting as awareness, 
all we have is ourselves, what we consider ourselves, because you've never seen your full self. You only see reflections and parts of yourself. And you look around and everything is obvious. You're sitting in a chair, birds are chirping, lights are on, you're looking at a computer or a phone. Whatever's happening is just happening. That's it. That's all that's ever happening. There's nobody asking you for anything. There's no requirements of you. You don't need a fancy degree to sit here and just exist, right? This is just pure existence. You don't need a name. You don't need a, a bank account amount. You don't need a net worth. You don't need anything. You are at the ground zero, zero point of all of creation in this now moment. And this, the more you sit in it, is simultaneous time. So then when we start to come out of this simultaneous time and we have this beautiful template, what we normally do is go into a, an automatic story and pick up where we left off in whatever it was the story is. You have a name, you have a, a, a certain degrees, you have, you have a business or you work for somebody, you're a sister, you're a brother, you're a mother, you're a father, you're a daughter, a son, right? A whole bunch of different identifiers. But right now, the story of existence is all that's needed. I exist. I am. You are sitting. When you go to zero, you are sitting in the I am. Nothing needs to be put after the I am right now, other than you're hearing, you're seeing, you're tasting, you're touching, you're smelling. Therefore, you're aware. You haven't identified yet. And then as you sit here, let's say a mind echo comes in because you know it's an echo because you just haven't spoken it, right? Right now, if I say Apple, anything else that comes back besides Apple is an echo. But even my, me repeating Apple and Apple coming back to me is an echo. But at least I know I said Apple, right? I said Apple, and then I expect Apple to come back. But if I say Apple and banana comes back, well, I just didn't say banana. So that must be an echo of a different reality where I said banana. But because I'm aware here that I said apple, banana's a story. Even though apple's a story, it's the one that I chose. I chose apple. I chose apple. I expect apple to, to echo back. I did not say banana. But I have a memory of one time I said banana. So therefore, it's an echo of a different reality. We went over that in episode three. Just a little reminder. So now if I zero myself out and I haven't said anything and the mind comes in with something because I have not declared anything out loud or within myself that I've chosen and a mind echo comes in and says, you're wasting your time. What are you doing? Nobody's here to say that to me. Even if it was, it still would be an echo. I didn't say it. Now I recognize that's a story. Now it could actually invoke a feel in me like, oh, oh I've done something. But really when an echo comes in and says, oh, you're messing up, you're wasting time. And then you get that feel in your pit of your stomach. What's really happening is you heard an echo and you have a sensation in your body. But if left unattended, the minds will connect that echo with that sensation, which will then cause you to move. And you go then engage in that reality. Oh, my, I'm wasting time. And you didn't even realize that you identified with it. So today, when we go to zero point, we take those three deep breaths and we just sit there for a few minutes and see what comes to you. And it could come in the form of an echo in your mind or somebody could walk in the room. You could get a text in, you could get an email, a call, however it shows up. The immediate answer all day long is that's a story, but is it my story? And that brings in self-inquiry and it brings in self-awareness because before you would get pulled into a script, right? You wanna know what it's like to be pulled into a script. All of a sudden there's an urgency and you're creating something within yourself. That's called a shift. If we're sitting here nice and calm after we do three deep breaths 
And then you have an echo come in that you have not spoken out loud. You have not commanded your reality. And it causes you to feel a sensation inside, which then causes you to jump into action. You're being led by a script. It is not you. And that's what identification is. But if we give that little extra buffer now, that however it shows up, if I did not just immediately say it, I don't care if it's another person. I don't care if you're seeing it on social media. Social media is nothing but echoes, by the way. Unless you posted something, but the moment that you post something, it's now an echo. But at least you know it's what you posted. And it it defines the reality that you're playing in. That's why I suggest to my clients that if you're going to post something, a comment on social media, whatever your comment is, that's what you're identifying with. And do you know all the consequences of that reality? So if you're posting about someone misspending their money and you don't like it, your mind is aware that you don't like it. So your mind's already setting up realities that you'll never have to have that personal experience yourself. And it will keep money from you because it doesn't, it wants to keep you safe. It wants you to not have to feel that way. So in wanting more money, hollering at someone who has it and you feel like they're spending it inappropriately, instead of hollering about what they're doing, command your mind to bring you that money so that you can have a different experience. That's, that's all this is, folks. But today, everything has to be identified regardless if it's wanted or unwanted, regardless if you're commanding it or it's an echo. That's a story. Right now, I'm telling you a story. I'm acknowledging I'm telling you a story, but I'm aware that I'm commanding this into my reality. So I expect those echoes all day long because the moment that you're telling yourself that's a story, you haven't identified yet. It's separate than you. So the next thing you say to yourself is, is this a story that I want to observe and experience right now? And if it's not, go back into the three deep breaths. That's simple. That's all the now moment is meant for you to get some feedback. Is this really me? Is this Because everything's a story. Is this a story that I want to play out? That's it. It's like one big menu, except you're not holding a menu like you would at a restaurant. Your offerings are coming to you off the menu all day long. Except we now give texts and emails and voicemails. We give them the same leverage as someone actually coming in front of us. And they're not. They're weaker echoes. It takes a whole lot of energy for your mind to bring a person in front of you than just a text or an email. But we treat texts and emails and also the echoes in our mind like whatever's happening is actually happening, but it's not happening in front of us. It's not unfolding. It's happening within us. And if it's happening within us and you're entertaining it, it's most likely the next thing to happen outside of you. That's how everything is you pushed out. But now we're starting to zero out what's happening inside of us. We're starting to get really picky about what it is we're entertaining because again, it's auditioning. That's why I say you're entertaining it. It's auditioning for you before you start to move and command your reality by pulling, be pulled in by that script. So if that's a story, and is that a story that I want to experience and observe right here, right now, and it's not, what's the solution? Go back in and zero out again, three deep breaths. It's really that simple, folks. So let's take you into the experience now. We're going to do our three deep breaths. If you prefer doing the three minutes, that means place this video on pause, do your three minutes, and then come back and join us. But we're going to just do the three deep breaths. In through the nose, hold out through the mouth, making the sound so that you can bring yourself nice and centered within yourself. That's why we make the noise. If you're not making the noise, you could go deeper with that noise being made. So go deeper into the now. Hear yourself make the noise. Okay, here we go.
you're awesome. You're absolutely awesome. Well, that's a story. But is that a story that you want to identify with? Okay. You say, yes, I want to identify with it because I'm awesome. Dee Dee says I'm awesome. Why does Dee Dee say that you're awesome? Because Dee Dee knows that she's awesome. That's what she's feeling. And that's a story. And oh, that's a story she wants to follow today. Do you want to follow that story? And as long as there's no contradicting thought to you're awesome, that's what will play out today because you've commanded it. So let's do three deep breaths and you're going to come out and say, after we're done, I'm awesome. We're going to command the reality. So the words, I am awesome. Of course, I know you're saying I'm awesome. I'm saying you're awesome. We're all awesome. This is just like awesome soup that we're sitting in. Awesome sauce. That's it. Awesome sauce. We are sitting in a whole bunch of awesome sauce. And I just can't stand myself because I'm that awesome. And you're that awesome too. And look what we get to do. And we could just go on this rampage of awesomeness over and over and over again, just rampaging on. Yeah. Because that's a story. And Oh, what a story it is. Okay. And yes, I want to explore that one. You see what we did there. That's what we did. And even if before I said, you're awesome, something else came in, that's a story and you can do the same thing. Okay. So let's do our three deep breaths again. Let's go back into the experience. This is so much fun. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I'm awesome. And yes, this is a story that I want to explore today, both observing and experiencing. And because I know I'm awesome, that means that everyone else that I interact with today is awesome because like attracts like, birds of a feather, here you are. We are representations of each other, of the amazing ability to shift and change and awesomeness. How's that feel? That should invoke a feel inside. Today, once again, what you're going to do over and over again, all day long, thought comes in, an offering from a person comes in, you're watching a video, you're on Facebook or whatever social media that you go on. That's a story. 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 It's just an offering, just an offering, just an offering, just an offering. It's not who you are. It's just out of all the offerings that are around, it's the ones that can get into your consciousness, whether you're viewing it, you're hearing it, you're tasting it, touching it, smelling it, however it comes in. Not all stories have words, right? Somebody could hand you something that's an offering. Do I want to play with that story today? And there's a big difference of feeling not good enough and getting sucked into the story but being aware that your mind just offered you an offering of not good enough and then going in, there's nothing more annoying when someone's trying to tell you you're not good enough and you realize it's a story and you're like, oh, I'm not good enough. Let's play this out because it's a whole different thing than oh, I'm not good enough. How, how what, what, What's going on here? And I'll do a, a quick story. I think I shared this before on the channel that I was helping out uh, a person and they were living in my house and they were paying rent and they uh, fell on some hard times even when they were here. So I told them, you know, for a little bit, get yourself together. Don't worry about the rent. And they came back to me about a couple of weeks later and had a conversation with me that they realized that I'm the reason why everything's gone wrong in their life. And I'm like, like, I thought I was helping. Like right away, I'm getting pulled in the store. I'm like, how could you say that? You're living in my house and you don't have to pay anything. And and then the story got a little weirder when she when she said to me, not only are you the reason why my life is falling apart now? But even when I was a kid and we had only known each other for five years, she's like, even when I was a kid, it's your fault too. And I'm like, Oh, I get to play the bad guy. You're, and I said, you mean I'm the bad guy? And she goes, yeah, you're the bad guy. And I'm like, I'm not the good guy helping you out. She goes, no, you're not the good guy helping me out. I'm like, Oh, I've been waiting for this moment. I've been, here's a story. I get to play the bad guy. And I know now that I'm getting to play. I thought I was playing the good guy. I'm so sorry. I took the wrong role. Let me bad guy this like I've never bad guyed it before because I said to myself, because I've been in a situation similar, that if ever I was told that I was the bad guy again, I'm ready for it. And I said, and if you think I was a bad guy before, uh, wait till you see how I bad guy it. This this is this is going to be so much fun. And she's like, that's not what I meant. I'm like, oh, no, no, no. You invoked a story. It's a story. And let's play this out. 
And that's how you can take your power back in the now moment, because this is all Shakespeare said it, all the world's a stage. And all we are is acting out different states of being, different states of consciousness. And once you're aware that there's a story, there's always a story. Do you want to play out that story? And you don't have to run from it just because now you know it's a story and now you get to play that role. It's very different. Now it's like third person instead of first person. And you can feel like you're trying it out and the rest of the reality will not like that. And it will kind of malfunction itself. It, it It's really the only way out is through sometimes. And now once you take away the importance and the unknowing, and you know this, this is such a powerful thing that you can do in the now moment. So guys, I appreciate you deeply. Thank you so much. Once again, join our group. Things are going to be shifting here. There's not going to be as much content starting in May because we are really starting to put the focus on our private group. Twice a week posting format here of videos because the majority of what we're going to be doing is in our private group. I can't say enough to get there. Get ready. Again, save those two dates for our event, the 18th and 19th. If you're loving these videos, come back every day at noon. Eastern Standard Time for the next edition. And if by any chance you missed any of the previous episodes, there is a wonderful playlist on your screen right now so that you can just go and deep dive into the deep dive into the now. Once again, thank you so much. Like, subscribe, and share. And until we meet again, happy manifesting. All I want to see you do is win, win big, win all the time. I hope you're enjoying the series. Feel free to comment below and I will catch you next time. Enjoy.